Hi. It's a fantastic day again. Um, we're on the journey to go meet a client. We're on the journey, like I said to Ross, that whenever you meet a client, you have maybe about you meeting 10 clients a day, you're likely to make two sales. Um, my name is Judy Kalu. I'm a real estate investor. I'm a real estate developer. I'm a renter, link, or coach. I show people how to invest rightly in real estate and how to do real estate right and how to brand yourself. Today, I'm going to be talking about personal branding. What does it take to brand yourself? What does it take to brand yourself as an individual? Are you a brand? How do you become a celebrity in your own space? That's what I'll be talking about uh, today. A lot of us do not understand um, um, certain things that makes us um, sell ourselves or make money to come to us. There are th two kinds of people in this world. People who sell and people who make other people buy it from them without actually selling. That is, you don't have to tell people that, oh no, I know what, I want you to buy my product. All you just need to do is to just position yourself as a brand. And people will just naturally come to you because they believe that you are what? A brand. But first of all, what is a brand? What constitutes a brand? Can you, can an individual be a brand? You know, that's some of the questions that a lot of people might want to ask at this particular time. Uh, how can I become a brand myself? What will make me to act like a celebrity within my own space? And um, it comes from a consciousness. First of all, a brand is simply an image or a perception that people have about you. That is a perception. It is an idea that people have about you. When I mention your name and the thought that comes into people's head is your brand. If I say San Sandra, for example, if I mention Sandra, and somebody says, what comes to people's head is stinginess, greediness. That is that particular person's brand. If I say, if I mention OBJ, for example, there is a thought that comes into your head. That thought is the brand. If I say IBB, there's a thought that comes to your head. That thought is a brand. If I say GEJ, there's a thought that comes to your head. That thought is a brand. So brand is a perception or a common perception that people hold about you, people have about you. It's a common perception that people have about you. Now, a lot of people, what are the common perceptions people who have about you? Or do people even have any common perception? That perception could be negative. That perception could be positive. Those who need rebranding are those who have probably have a negative, um, a common negative um, perception. That people have a negative perception about them or that they need to change their philosophy, or they need to change the image that people have about them, or that the general public have about them, and not all of that. So for you as an individual, for you to succeed, you need a particular perception that is positive for you, that will drive sales your way, that will make yourself attractive, and find favor from men. Now, a lot of people want to succeed, but they want to succeed without having, without creating a brand for themselves or without acting as a brand. First of all, we must all recognize that we are all celebrities within our own space. Now, the level at which we recognize that will determine the level of success that we are going to attract. What do I mean? People think that it's only actors and actresses that are celebrities. But the real truth of the matter is this. You are a celebrity only that you do not know it yet. You are a celebrity only that you do not know it well. An engineer is a celebrity in his field, but he does not know it yet. Or a builder, a surveyor, an architect, a doctor, a nurse is a brand or a celebrity within his or her own space but does not know it yet. An hairdresser 
is a celebrity within our own space, but does not know it yet. A shoemaker, a cobbler, is a celebrity within his own space, but does not know it yet. So most people are all celebrity. You have a celebrity status in your life, but for you to maximize success in your life, you must understand the perception that you need to build success for yourself. And that's just what this is all about. So how do you build your own personal brand? First of all, I will say this. Number one thing, there are five things, five ways to building your own personal brand. Number one is to find out what your addiction is. Find out what your addiction is. A-D-D-I-C-T-I-O-N. Find out what your addiction is. What am I addicted to? What are the things that I cannot stop doing? What are the things that I have craving for? That is a perpetual habit for me. For example, for me as Trudy Kalu, I have this addiction for writing. I can write and write and write, tear out and still write. Tear out and still write. I have a perpetual addiction for writing. Now for everyone, somebody's addiction may be smoking. Somebody's addiction may be drugs abuse. Another person's addiction may be just sex, watching pornography and all of that. Those are negative addiction. But you can always convert every negative addiction to positive. To a positive energy. Why? How? By eliminating what? Free time. By doing what? Eliminating free time. When you eliminate free time, you find out that you, you reduce those negative inhibition that you already have and you focus on success maximally. What do I mean? People that commit suicide, they commit suicide because they have free time. People that are easily depressed are depressed because they have free time. People that do negative things do those things because they have free time. So what do you do? You choke up your activity. You choke up your life with activity. And what kind of activity do you choke yourself with? By doing those things, like for example, what are the things that smoking gives to people? What are the, um, what's the result of smoking? Or the result of your addiction? What are the things that it produces for you? You need to find out that result that it produces for you and use it for positivity. Like for example, I choose to be addicted to success through my writing. Somebody will say, oh, what is it addicted to? You know what? I've realized that every negative energy always have a positive light. But most people do not even know it yet. So you can transfer, you can choose your addiction for what? To create what? To create massive opportunity for yourself and for your own life. You need to, build, you need to generate income for yourself that will even shock you and surprise those around you. So that's the first thing that you need to do. You need to recognize what your addictions are and use your addiction to propel yourself towards success. Now, because every addiction can give you a strength and you build on those things to last forever. Stay with us. I'll be right back. I am tired. <laughs>